Tijd voor het vierde en laatste deel van onze reeks over de Leeuw van Vlaanderen. Wat heeft het boek betekend voor onze Vlaamse regio? En belangrijker, waarom is het vandaag nog steeds relevant? Nations and identities are constructions. Constructions of historical facts. And like pieces of a puzzle, you can put them together to make a different construction. You can stress some pieces or leave some out. And this is exactly what Conscience did. So, Conscience wrote a book about a battle we didn't win with heroes who never fought at all. So why then do we have the feeling that these guys are so important for our history? Well, maybe it's because of the Flanders in the title. But the Flanders of the book isn't exactly the Flanders we know today. It took Belgium more than a century to evolve from a nation state to a federal state. To construct Flanders, we recycled Jan Breidel and Pieter de Koning. After all, they fought the French army. And we expanded the county of Flanders to the whole of the Dutch-speaking part of Belgium today. Mm, the county of Flanders is maybe a bit too small for that. Let's add some ingredients. Oh, Bruges and Ghent, they were already in. So we add a bit of Antwerp. We take an amount of Limburg and the region of Brussels. But the city of Brussels, no, we, we leave that out. Et voilà, the new Flanders. It doesn't matter on which side of the war your ancestors fought. Do you speak Dutch? Ah, well, then you're Flemish. This is how July the 11th, the anniversary of a massacre, became the celebration for the whole of the Dutch-speaking part of Belgium, we now call Flanders. But all this, true or not true, is it really important? Does it really matter? The Scottish have their Braveheart, the US have their Independence Day, and other countries have their own historical battles to justify the existence of the current political union. And they all have statues of their heroes, like this one, Gottfried of Bouillon, responsible for his own massacre in Jerusalem. For historians, stories like these are equally tiring and fascinating. The different pieces of the puzzle, the way they are added, stressed or left out. This is also the beauty of things, because all of these stories are constructions. There's politics behind every story. And keep in mind, the villain of today can easily become the hero of tomorrow. And in the end, only time will tell.